Hello, myself, I am Gopina. I am head of the Center for Nanotechnology. And this Center for Nanotechnology was started in December 2005 as one of the Center for Excellence. And we have started our MTech in Nanotechnology in 2008. And so far, we have 21 joint faculty in our center and one core faculty. As you know, this nanotechnology is a multidisciplinary field. So we have faculty from different departments with a different expertise. So right now, the Center for Nanotechnology is working on uh, various domains. Uh, mainly, we can classify like healthcare, energy, and environment sector. And in this area, so far, we have in the last five years, we have almost 16 research grants worth of 500 lakhs. And in the last five years, we have more than 20 patents filed from our Center for Nanotechnology. Also, our MTech students, they got placement in well-established institutes as well as the company. And also, most of the students are doing their higher studies in the topmost universities in the world. And most of them also join in uh, India as well as abroad in the topmost institute as a faculty and scientist. And as a young center, we have done a lot of achievements and our students also done a lot of achievements. Also, some of our students uh, made a startup companies and they are going very successful. And some of the products are uh, commercialized, which are developed by our MTech students and the PhD students. Maybe I'll show you, while showing the lab, I'll show you some of the products, interesting products. So, recently we have developed a nano bio sensor for lung cancer as well as oral cancer. So, this is similar to the blood glucose monitoring device. And here we'll be using the electrode, which is coated with the nano material. And we can use the patient's serum sample, and the result will come to your mobile phone. If it is positive, it will give a several cutoff value, and if it is negative, then it will give a different kind of signal. And similarly, if you put a saliva sample, if the particular person is positive, then the particular person having the oral cancer. And recently, we have also made one more device that is like a nano bio sensor. So this is on the bottle cap. So this is a kind of urine sensor. Like urine will have some kind of volatile organic compound, and that can be measured using that. And if the person is positive, then it will give the signal to a mobile phone for the particular cancer. It can be a lung cancer or it can be the urinary bladder cancer. So these are some of the interesting products we developed in the center. And we are in the process of uh, uh, commercializing this technology. So this is the computational facility of our center where the PhD and MTech students are doing different types of simulations and modeling of their respective projects. Uh, particularly, uh, we have some active projects going on uh, for the for uh, different types of active research is going on uh, uh, based on the simulation and modeling, nano simulations uh, of nanomaterials and nanomaterial based devices or nanotechnology. So basically, uh, they are working on different types of uh, uh, material, uh, material simulations or uh, device simulations. Uh, so where they can model or uh, model or simulate those sequences and then they can develop in their lab uh, for uh, the future applications. At the Yangi Center, we have done several achievements including several national level and international level awards. And we have also developed several products. In the near future, we are expecting more products which will be helpful for the maintenance society. As the slogan of the center is nanotechnology, the smartest choice for future.